Right, well, we're gonna have a look at the professional camera, but I've just felt just discovered that these guys have got the one that's gonna be out in the UK in about a month or so time. Which what's the model for this? Uh, this one is an NX Cam model uh, HXR NX 3D1 that will be released in uh, three weeks worldwide, and uh, it's uh, the first. Uh, let's say handheld camcorder for 3D production with a dual lens system, dual sensor system, mm -hmm. full HD uh, with a 31 millimeter interaction that is very small uh, to allow close shots. It's uh, up to 80 centimeters uh, shots in 3D with one of the revolutionary things everyone is waiting for: uh, glassless LCD screen, uh, so you can easily check. Uh, if your 3D is good or not, and set it up by this little screw there, and so, uh, you have a double full HD recording as well in AVC HD 24 megabytes. Is this better than the JVC one that was launched about a month ago? Technically, uh, technically speaking, they are quite equivalent. Uh, the only thing that was better than JVC there is that uh, Sony is building their own sensor with the XMOR technology uh, that enables a very high quality in low light condition. For example, if I film the black there. You will have a true deep black with no noise on it that will be very, very disturbing in 3D production, especially. Okay. And how can I edit material from this? Is it quite simple? It's and quite also, is it HD per, per eye? No, HD uh, per this eye. one has a one file, MVC, compatible uh, with the two video streams full HD inside it. So it's directly compatible with a PS3 or Blu ray player on your 3D. Uh, TV at home, or you can put it directly into Vegas Pro 10 that can edit natively AVC HD and MVC file, or there will be a freeware that will be provided with the camcorder that enable you to convert the MVC file into two single left and right file to edit in Final Cut Pro or Premiere or Avid. Uh, okay, and that uh, freeware is that available pretty much when you can buy it? Or that yeah, it will be available and provided at the same time as the, the camera. Very interesting. Right now, I understand that there's not many of these out right now. What are we looking at right here? Um, yeah, you're right. There are only one or two of these in the world. Uh, this one is directly coming from Japan, uh, from our Japanese colleague uh, who flew from Tokyo on Monday morning. And uh, we are showing uh, the working sample of the future prototype, uh, future 3D camcorder uh, that will be released in end of October, beginning of November. Uh, this is a shoulder camcorder. Uh, that shoot directly in 3D with two half inch sensor and a dual lens system. Uh, why we are showing it working and out of glass in a dimension free is to collect feedback on the operation point of view because one of the originality of this product is these three wheels there that will control zoom, focus, convergence. Oh, right, so it's all on the same controller and you've got three different. Yeah. Models. We have some planning to, to offer uh, um, adjustable, assignable. Uh, functions for these three wheels, uh, but it's quite new because it should have been, it would have been too big to have a standard uh, zoom and focus rings there. Sure. So we are providing there here, keeping the zoom for the cameraman here, okay. with a very very original function as well. Is that as soon as the cameraman has made the focus, yeah. instead of adjusting precisely the convergence, you can just one push and get the convergence automatically made through the focus plane. So it's very, very original. We are really thinking this product as a single operator cameraman. Uh, so you're avoiding the cost of convergence puller and focus exactly. puller as well? Uh, we can't produce uh, a camcorder that requires two or three people around it to make it work. Uh, a camcorder should be a standalone uh, equipment used by one or a maximum two operators uh, at the same time. So this is something really for what documentary makers, uh, you know, people maybe even or possibly news gatherers or whatever. But this is this isn't for movers or anything. This is for yeah, you, you will medium budget stuff. You are, we have always some high-end documentaries going uh, abroad with rigs and heavy systems, but uh, there is a need for a complementary, uh, even on these high-end uh, documentaries. Uh, but for medium budget and low budget, uh, you have this solution that will be around 30k euro as a target uh, for the European market and uh, enable people to go abroad do a full documentary in 3D and uh, provide highest quality 3D because it's half inch sensor, 35 megabits MPEG 2 recording, uh, while some competitors are just stuck in a third inch uh, sensors. Have you got variable frame rate on this to create a movie looking effect? Uh, we are able to do 720, 50p, so you're able to do some variable frame rate uh, recording on this mode, but in 1080 it will be only 50i, 60i or 24p. 
What feedback have you had with regard to what people have found to it at Dimension 3 this year? Uh, it's quite interesting. We have some p feedback about the position of about the viewfinder that should be higher or something like that. But uh, generally speaking, people are very uh, surprised and uh, happy about this new operational type uh, with the, the three wheels there. Uh, there should be some improvements uh, on some parts, but uh, people are very happy to have uh, less than five kilograms camcorder uh, lens included uh, with uh, all they have the habit to work with. So we are just not uh, moving people into the three world uh, with uh, different operational type. No, it's quite uh, standard with these new stuffs and uh, some more coming because it's still in development. Great, well thanks so, so much Norbert. Very, very interesting and uh, I'm very pleased to be able to be one of the few people to have seen this one today. So, thank you. You're welcome, thank you very much.